Hi, this is Edward Mendoza. I'm going to build a red one so you can see how every single part of it fits together from the cables to the lens to the power adapter. So let's go right along. Here we have all the red gear. So here, that's the power cable, which has the both of the same sides. Here's our HDMI cable. Here's one red brick. We have a couple of these, but each one lasts for quite a bit. I'm kind of impressed with the power supply of it. So here's the base uh, face plate, but that's what goes on your tripod. We'll put that on now. This is the mount that goes onto the red one. Here's the shoulder side of it. So, and we'll be placing that on. Here, um, you can take this apart, but um, it's kind of a hassle because then you got to get the tubes in right every single time. So I find it easier to just put the, the, the battery pack um, goes here and then your red drive would go here and here's where the red one would go. So I find it much easier to kind of separate those two. So here's your LC monitor, here are your grips, there's the uh, power adapter, and here's the viewfinder um, holder plus the connector. Obviously, this is the lens, and here's where all the magic happens. Here's the actual red one. So, we're going to just pre build this so you guys can see it. First thing we're going to do is put on the base plate. Now, this has two base plates that you can put together. First, this one's the shoulder pad, which goes like this, which I don't really use because the whole thing is so heavy. I think it's much more comfortable to just use a pillow or like a towel and fold it on that way. We get the base plate, put it together. On the other side and then you just get this guy right there and you press it out so it locks into place and then the red just goes right there now usually what I use because I use more for tripod shots I actually use the base plate here which you just bring it down like that and there's close up there's two lugs here So that's what we use our Allen wrench for. You also want to make sure you have four lugs, which is going to tighten the base plate to the rim. Now, just a quick overview of how this works. Obviously, these are for preview, you know, Genlock, HDI. Uh, this is our head jack, and later on we'll get into how the whole thing works. So you have to set the headphone up exactly how you want it if you want to have um, good audio coming out. Because you'd think you'd just plug it in like every camera, and this is not like any other camera that I've ever used. Everything is a setting, and if you don't know how to get through the menu, you're gonna get lost. So we'll get through that later. So obviously, very important is the HDMI. HDMI cable. Good thing of that, it comes in default. It sets out to 720p. That's 720p. You can get 1080, but you're only going to see it on playback. It's cool if you have it on set to have a 1080p, but that's why it's it's they're cheaper. They're much uh, um, lighter weight, so just get a 720p uh, HD monitor. We're going to do also the power supply that goes from here to your other connector here, and. Also, that's where your red brick, it just slides in. It's just like a V. It looks kind of weird, but it's, it's really that easy to just slap in. And you press it and bring it up like that. So then let's just build the first body plate. So that goes in like that. It just slides in. The cool thing about the red one too is that uh, you can put it on either side. And since everything's so hard, you know, so it's like, like the cables, you're not going to hurt it on either side that you put it. So it makes it for much easier placement. So you see you can just like throw it on the side like that and it's totally cool, you're not busting anything. The other thing is, back up your stuff on two different um, locations. Highly recommend doing that. Especially now because memory is so cheap. Before it used to, you know, a terabyte would cost like almost a thousand dollars. But now you can get a terabyte for like $100, $150. So back up everything you have on several locations just to be safe. Make sure it's like right there on the side. See if you can see that. Make sure it's right in the middle because if not, you're not going to be able to get 
each side in correctly. Which then you'll just have to dismount it. You finders rather simple to put on, just go like that. So that goes in like that. And this guy locks into place like that. You just kind of press it from there. And it can come in just any way you want. So here's the faceplate. Be very careful when you're taking this off. Make sure it's not like a dusty area whatsoever. And uh, get over here. Make sure it's, uh, it's a safe environment. Don't do it if you're like in the desert or you know there's just a lot of wind you know, where dust can get in it. Because this, this is the actual sensor. And that's where all the magic happens. So then you get the lens. Same thing here, be very careful getting that dirty. And then it just locks into place. And then close it this way. And your lens comes off. If you look inside there, that's where you can put other lens filters on top of that. And then with this guy, we just let slide in. So that's pretty much why I always kind of watch out for that. So already this thing's getting quite heavy. Then you put in the brick. Uh, the power cable is, goes right here where it says power. So you just slide that guy into there. Cool thing about uh, all these red project, uh, products also, it has like red pins on each side. So it'll show you so you know you're not making a mistake. So here red goes to a red dot, it's over there too. So you don't feel like, well, I know it's going to work. So then that goes there. And the last thing we got to do is get the viewfinder. So that clicks in place there. And over here, there's this monitor setting, and it just clicks in place. Same thing for audio and all the other um, parts. I'm just slap it into place. So we get a brick. Well, and that's basically it. You can also put in your uh, vice grips over here, like that. And that's what you got your tools to tighten these up and stuff. And you can point it this way. Usually for most of the stuff that we're doing, we're just using the tripod. And that's uh, pretty good. That works. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to be doing a couple more tutorials on the red, especially the menu system, which is really, really complicated. So yeah, just uh, keep uh, joining us back at edwardmendoza.com. Any questions, uh, just send me an email. Thanks.